When I awoke from my dreamless sleep, I was just in time to witness the end of the world. Answer is that? Uh-uh. Now that isn't going to work. <laughs> Lumina! Now that's not right. You're not supposed to throw your life away. I swear that kid is a demon. Angels of death and demons? You're attracting the wrong crowd, Snow. Oh. No! 
No one is gonna stop me. You hear? Not you, definitely not her. If I have to fight the savior, then I will. The centuries have changed us, Snow and me. Once we fought desperately together against our fates. Now he's patron of a never-ending revel, presiding over a banquet at the end of the world. And I've become the savior. I'm a servant of God, sent to a world being consumed by chaos. Tell me, Snow. Has ever a day passed? When you haven't thought about Sarah, the girl you loved, my younger sister. How long has she been gone now? She brought us together and made us allies and friends. I can't give her back to you, but I can save your soul and free you from your long torment. It'll be my first act as savior. Mr. Hope best time. Any ideas? What do I do next? Blake, come on. Just call me Hope, okay? Right now, your number one priority is snow. Don't let him get away. safe. I guess that means clearing out all the monsters, right?
dying. at last is the savior a sign of coming destruction or a promise of hope i would like to bet on hope if you believe you are the true savior you'll need to be carefully prepared for the battles that await you on your journey Snow, help me track him. Got it. You need to hurry. What's Snow up to anyway? Where's he going? I'm getting powerful chaos readings from inside the palace. straight into the chaos? Is he going there to try to stop it, or is it to use it against us somehow? You'll have to ask him yourself. Now hurry! <laughs> Hope they find peace. Sure, he liked to look after people, but lording it over an entire city? Well, it wasn't his choice. He started out just trying to... Although I'm 
not so sure he actually rules anything anymore. He doesn't do much these days except preside over the nightly revelry. Lord of the Feast Hall. Doesn't look like he's enjoying it much, though. When I looked into his eyes, I didn't see much of the old snow. Light, do you see the ladder? You'll need to use that in order to follow snow. Right, got it. through. I'll look around. Easy does it, Lightning. When that door opened, chaos readings in the whole area spiked. The source of the chaos is in the middle of the palace, right? That doesn't make sense. The snow I knew wouldn't let things get out of hand like that. It's been a long time, and snow has changed. We can't rule out... Right, can you hear me? The chaos is powerful in this area. I'm not sure what's going on. It's interfering with my secret source. <laughs> what the? Who are you? And what are you doing here? If you're playing around in the middle of this chaos, I'm guessing you're not human. <laughs> you can see when you're inside this stuff? Hmm. Then you can't be one of God's regular lackeys, can you?
Listen, Hope, I need more info. Can you analyze this chaos matter for me? I've been trying to do just that, but it's no good. None of my instruments will tell me anything. It's just too hard to see. What do you mean? I'm not sure. The sensors know it's there, all right. But when they actually look into it, they can't pick up anything at all. Sometimes it's so thick, my monitors go completely blank. Sorry, Light. I'll try to feed you as much info as possible, but with this chaos, I'm not much help. It's locked. Can I force it? That might be beyond even you. Hold on a second. I'll see what I can do from here. <gasps> hmm. There's a lot of chaos building up back there. Yes, indeed. And Snow's inside. Or whatever's left of him. Well... He has been living without hope for centuries. Now the world's about to end. He might have lost his mind entirely. If it were anyone else, I'd say that was a given. Do you think it could have gotten to him, though? Broken even his spirit? I hope not, but... After coming all this way? I'm his last chance, damn it. I know what he's going through. The pain of losing Sarah. That's true. If there's anything left of Snow, as the savior, you're the only one who can rescue him. That's why you have to protect yourself. If you're killed, it really will mean the end of the world. And then who can you save? All right, fine. Take me back to the Ark. Hold on. Sue shall understand his pain? She thinks she's going to save his soul? Would you listen to this nonsense? Ugh, God turns her into the savior and it all goes straight to her head. Once upon a time, I committed a terrible sin. It happened long ago, in a past that I cannot change. I was fighting a war that never ended. I thought I was saving the world, and I needed help. So I turned to Sarah, the only family I had. She was my younger sister. I sent her to her death. I knew what I did could not be forgiven, but I prayed that someday it could be undone. Dreaming of the day I might bring her back, I fell into a long sleep. It was a sleep as dark as death. The centuries passed, and each one seemed like an eternity until... One day, the light touched me. I knew what it was. It was God himself, speaking to me. All-powerful, all-knowing, ruler of the world and sky above, Bonavelza. The light was his voice, and I felt warmth on my skin as it spoke. He told me what I had to do. I would be his servant, and if I succeeded in doing his bidding, my reward would be a miracle. He said she would live again. My sister, Sarah, and I'd have her back at last. And so I was chosen by God to rescue lost souls and guide them past the end of this world and into the next.
I became the savior. Light, there's something I want to tell you. Something I think you have to hear. It'll take some explaining, so when you have the time, come and talk to me.
I've got something important to discuss with you. Please talk to me when you have a chance. That is the Book of Conquests, an ensorcelled tome. It draws on your memories to recreate foes that you have previously defeated, so you can fight them again. Hello, Lightning. Welcome home. Hope as time. Once long ago, we fought side by side, bound by a common destiny. He was just a boy then, kicked around by fate, scared and angry. But we became friends, and then he grew up. He was going to be humanity's great leader. The one who'd lead us all to a brighter future. But it didn't work out the way any of us expected. A lot of things changed during my long sleep. When I woke, the Hope who I'd seen become a man was a boy again. He was up here, in lonely command of the Ark. And this was where he told me about God's plans for the two of us, and the world. Bunevelza, God of Light, has made a decision. The gates are open and chaos has flooded through, consuming the world and everything in it. Not even God can stop it, and he isn't going to try. Instead, he's going to build a brand new world. But he needs people to live in it. What would be the point of a world without souls? That's where you come in, Light. You're the last piece in the puzzle. You're the savior. It's a simple role. You have to rescue as many people as you can from this world and lead them to the new one. It's an incredible opportunity. You can bring salvation to hundreds, maybe thousands. In return, you'll get your chance to bring Sarah back. A deal, huh? I scratch God's back and he gives me what I want. My sister. He's giving you a chance, no guarantees. I know it isn't right using your sister, but... It doesn't matter. Huh? God is using my dead sister as a bargaining chip. Something like that should infuriate me to no end, but for whatever reason, I don't feel angry. It's like there's a hole where she used to be. I think I know what you mean. I'm the same way. It all happened such a long time ago. I remember it clearly, but the feelings, they're gone. Maybe that's how God wants it. Maybe emotions and his servants just distract us from what we're supposed to do. So he got rid of them for us. Maybe he did. And maybe returning me to childhood was part of his plan too. But we can't expect to understand everything he does. Of course I had to accept God's deal. What choice did I have? It was my fault that Sarah died. If the only way I could save her was by doing God's will, so be it. With Hope Estime to guide me, I began my holy mission. Liberating the souls of the living from a dying world, and ushering them into a new one. The Savior. Servant of mighty Benevelza himself. Light? Light, what's the matter? What is it? Are you alright? <sighs> I'm fine, just reminiscing.
500 years ago, chaos was unleashed and our world began to be consumed. Five short centuries, that's what it took to destroy all of creation. Now there's barely anything left at all. And when the Savior has used all her light, the bells will toll and the world will end. Is that what you told me? Yes, but when that time comes, Benevelza will finally awaken, and he'll bend his great will to create a new world. Right. And in the meantime, I've got some souls to save. Yes, as many as you can. Remember, every soul you leave behind will be lost for all eternity. As long as you're here, you're safe. You can rest and not worry about what's happening in the world below. When you're in the Ark, time ceases to flow for anyone but us. Is that all God can do? He can stop the flow of time up here, but he's helpless to prevent the world from being destroyed. Yes. In 13 days, God will reawaken. It'll all be over then, and no power in the universe can stop it. But the problem is, the world may have even less time than that. It doesn't happen at the same time? It should, but the world has been weakening rapidly under the onslaught of the chaos. The pace of the destruction is accelerating. Your problem is, if the world ends too soon, you won't have enough time to save all the souls you can. You have to delay the end for as long as possible. Now listen carefully, Light. What I'm going to tell you is very important. As the Savior, you have a special life force. I call it Aradia. It's the power of God's light. It gives you your powers, and much more. If you offer your life force, this Aradia, you can give energy to the world and delay the final destruction for a while. I can delay the destruction, but not avoid it forever. When God wakes after the 13th day, the world is screwed whatever I do. But what does it matter how many days are left? The end stays the same. Why not keep the Aradia for myself? Because if you did that, and the world ends before the 13th day, God will deem that you have failed. Then what will happen to your bargain? Will he still deliver on his promise if he believes that you failed to deliver on yours? Right, the bargain. In other words, if I don't keep the world alive for 13 days, I don't save Sarah. And not just Sarah, either. The entire human race might be lost. So do you see, Light? Aradia is the key. You have to gather as much of it as you possibly can. And the way you do that is by saving people's souls. So that's what I've got to do. Save souls so that I can save Sarah. Yes, exactly. Remember how much snow has changed? Here at the end of the world, there are many people like him caught in the grip of despair, their hearts shackled by regret and longing. If you reach out and help them with their troubles, you can break those shackles. Then their souls will be released. They'll be free to be reborn in the new world, and in return, your savior life force will grow. So that's what he wants. Rescue as many souls as I can before the world ends and takes humanity with it. My mission. No more lectures today. You can head for the surface anytime you want. Just remember though, you have to come back here every morning at six. You're giving the savior a curfew, is that it? There is a good reason. I'll explain it to you when the time comes. We can use the warp machine to send you back down. Just step in front of the device whenever you're ready to leave. Good work, Light.
Once upon a time, I committed a terrible sin. I feel the sacred power begin to pull on me. Helpless, I fall to the beginning of time. Time winds backwards. Memories disappear one by one. I lose everything that I've become. Then, I am reborn. This time, I shall succeed. I shall release the world from its curse. I will save humanity. Once more, I return to the start, where a new beginning awaits. Good to see you again. <sighs> Is something the matter? No, it's just... I suddenly had this strange feeling of deja vu. I could have sworn we've done this before. That we've been in this exact same situation. I hope you're not imagining things. The world needs its savior, and you need to hold yourself together. The warp dog. Good work, Light. Destruction began 500 years ago, but you know that. It was when the chaos first flooded into our world. Most of the world was lost immediately under the ocean of chaos. Only one small region survived. The survivors call their island of refuge Nova Chrysalia. The chaos brought destruction and a kind of immortality too. Suddenly everyone stopped growing. It was like we'd lost our time. But if that was a gift, it was a poisoned one. We could not age and neither could new life be born. There were no more children. But although we were ageless, we were not immune to death. Sickness, accidents, and violence could still kill us. Life remained as fragile as it had always been. And so humanity began a new chapter of its history, the population slowly shrinking, the survivors falling into an ennui born of lives that last too long. Eventually, new creeds took hold and new legends created. One of these told of the savior, a servant of God. She would descend to Nova Chrysalia at the end of the world. Humanity's last chance for salvation. The Ark is the remains of the artificial cocoon. A planet built of steel, back when humanity still dared to dream of greatness. Bunavelza has repurposed the world we built. This is where the souls of the saved are kept, ready to be reborn in the new world. But the people down on the surface have forgotten what this stands for and simply call it a moon. Who am I exactly? It's a question I don't have the answer to. I don't know how I know the things I'm telling you. I don't know who gave me the knowledge. It's not that I have forgotten my past. Some memories are still there, and I can summon them when I want. It's just that I can't recall the emotions they should evoke, as if they're images of someone else's life. I know that I once lived in a great city on the surface of the planet. I know that Snow and I joined forces to try and battle the menace of the chaos. And then, suddenly, I was here. I tried to find out what happened. According to records that still survived, the man called Hope Estime disappeared 169 years ago. But the records and my memory end there. What happened after that? I can only assume I was in the hands of God. I was part of his plan. So he took me and prepared me for the role that I had to play. If you're ready to go, stand in front of the warp device. I can use the warp device to send you down. It's best if you head for Luxarian first. Something strange is happening in the so-called City of Light, and you need to find out what's going on.
Luxarian, a bustling metropolis, the divine city of light and the holy sea of salvation. It's the last bastion of peace and order in a dying world. Most of the people who live here worship the almighty Benevelza. The city is governed in his name by a powerful religious sect known as the Order of Salvation. God's followers believe in ultimate redemption and their faith helps keep the fires of hope burning. But even in this pious city, a darkness lurks untouched by divine light. A heresy that rejects the teachings of Supreme Benevelza. Divine City doesn't look so holy now. This was no accident. The girl was left here intentionally. search of the city's video database, but I'm coming up blank so far. Doesn't matter. I'll just find out myself. Luxarian. The Divine City of Light. Is that what they call it? Trouble is, the brightest lights cast the darkest shadows. Solve this case quickly. Luxarian is the city of divine light, yet it has seen the murder of three girls in three days. The people seem to be growing fearful. If you find out anything at all, I'd be anxious to hear it. There are similarities among the victims. They have all been young women, and all of them had rose colored hair. Yes, just the same shade as yours. You may also become a target of the killers. I urge you to be careful. The Savior's mission is to rescue the souls of people trapped in prisons of pain and suffering. By forming a bond with them, you can lead their souls to salvation. The horror continues. Another victim has been discovered. I knew the latest victim. She was a leading member of the Order clergy. She'd been a rising star, destined to become the next High Priestess. 
But then she retired suddenly for reasons of health, or so it was said. And then this. This is my favorite spot. Hang out here long enough and you get to see all kinds of things. Like those white garb loonies, for example. The children of Etro are heretics and they don't believe in the Order's teachings. Those Etro fanatics used to keep a low profile, but recently I see them everywhere. The Order's authority isn't what it was. Now those people wander the streets like they own the place. Do you think they know something we don't? Maybe they have a date for the end of the world, who knows? Good work, Light. At this rate, you'll solve the murder in no time. The same people who killed the girl brought that dummy here. It's important evidence. Don't touch it. The victim had rose-colored hair, and the wig on that dummy was of the same color. The killers appear to believe that the evil savior will take the form of a young woman with rose-colored hair. Everything points to this being the work of those heretics, children of Etro. But why are they so sure what the savior will look like? That was a valuable witness statement. I'm pretty sure the Inquisitor can use the information. Become quite the predicament. Those messages say that the Shadow Hunter will kill the Savior. Sounds pretty, I don't know, prophetic, right? If you believe what you hear around town, it seems that the children of Etro have an Oracle Drive. That's a rare thing. They say Oracle Drives are mysterious devices that can let you see the very future. The Heretic's prophecy. I can't even imagine what it must show. But apparently it's enough to drive them to murder. That's vital information. Good work, Light. At this rate, you'll solve the murder in no time. It can't be. Damn it, it's not like him to be late. But what if... No, no, couldn't be that. Something wrong? Not about those murders, is it? God, no. Well, at least I hope not. You see, it's the end of my shift, and I'm waiting for my replacement, but he, he hasn't shown. He's been late before, but never as bad as this. You're starting to worry, right? He likes to make out he's a tough guy, but he isn't at all, frankly. His name's Holmes. If you run into him, do me a favor, will you? Tell him Thornton's worried and needs to go home. anyone in uniform wandering around where they're not supposed to be, I'll talk to him. God save me, I... You work at the station, don't you? Your fellow attendants worried about you. My... Oh no, is it time for my shift already? I completely lost track of time. Look, can I trust you? I saw who did it. You know, the people who threw the dummy off the clock tower? I got scared, so I've been laying low. I can't go to the station. That's where they'll look for me. You were there? What did you see exactly? You have to tell me. I don't have to do anything. But if you can protect me from those people and get me to the station, I'll tell you all about it. Get me to the station, and then I'll talk.
regional transportation system. It's the city's lifeblood. The trains stopping at this station carry people and bring goods from Ustan. It might be worth checking out this area. Do you see any suspicious employees or passengers? Holmes, you're safe. I was so worried about you, I could barely concentrate on my duties. Sorry, boss. I saw what happened over where they found the girl. I guess I just panicked. I don't know why I got so scared. I'm sorry I let you down. It won't happen again. Never mind. I'm just glad to see you're safe. Guess I never told you. Well, years ago, one of my colleagues was killed by a monster. I was... I was afraid the same thing had happened to you. I panicked and asked this lady for help. I can't believe no one told me that when I took this job. But anyway, sorry for the trouble, boss. From now on, I swear to you, I'm never going to be late. I mean, what if your heart gave out or something with worry? Can't have that on my conscience. A true friend that cares. Maybe that's enough to save us all. Well, a deal's a deal. You got me here safe and sound, and so I'm going to tell you exactly what I saw. It was the children of Etro. They tossed the dummy off the tower. I really wanted to tell the Inquisitors what I saw. Honestly, I did. But I was afraid those heretics might find out and make me their next victim. That was a valuable witness statement. I'm pretty sure the Inquisitor can use the information. I always said those people would cause trouble, and I was right. Every night I can see them, those weirdos in their white cloaks sneaking around the streets. Whenever I see white, I think, ugh, heretic. If there's one thing I know, that wicked shadow hunter, he's the ringleader of the heretics. Those fanatics are growing bold. Nowadays, there's always a gang of them in the plaza in front of the station. It's as if they are meeting to go someplace else. Speaking of which, it's usually around this time they start to show up. The Inquisitor will definitely be very interested in this information. Why not talk to a few more people? No one, absolutely no one doubts that the people behind the killings are those heretics. The Order is conducting its inquisitions based on that assumption. The Etro fanatics who worship the Goddess of Death are all over the place. Just look for the sinister groups huddled together, dressed head to toe in white. It may mean nothing, but some people have witnessed the Etro heretics using the public phone near the graveyard. Furtive conversations in the streets. Prowling the city at night. It makes you wonder what they're up to. So the culprits are the children of Etro? But what's their objective? What could they be after? Let's find out. Once the gates are opened, I'll try tailing them. Discreetly. It'll be the easiest way to find their hideout. I'll talk to the Inquisitors. Hopefully get these gates open. The trains are currently suspended. Oh. Uh, who else could it be? It has to be them, right? So, there's this place called the Forsaken Graveyard outside the city. You know it? What I've heard is that a bunch of people wearing white cloaks gather there every night. They're heretics who worship the goddess Etro. You know what I saw? Heretics carrying an unconscious girl. It scared me to death. Maybe it, it was just the dummy that they threw off the tower. Or maybe it was the murdered girl herself. In days, the Etro fanatics, those unspeakable heretics who reject the Order, have been gathering brazenly on street corners. They're a sinister bunch, clad in stark white cloaks. I just overheard one of them say something very interesting. It went something like, If we kill the Savior, the prophecy will come true. Now, all the victims to date have been women. 
Could there be a connection? Are they trying to hunt the Savior? I wonder if I should tell the Inquisitor this information. It might be important. anything about the case, I'd be glad to hear it. The Goddess's disciples are beginning to gather. If you lift the blockades around this area, there's a good chance they'll start to move out. You're suggesting I let them go? Hmm. It's not a bad idea. Yes, yes, I'll give the order and we'll see where the heretics lead us. We've managed to find some eyewitnesses, and we think we know who it was that strung the dummy from the tower. Let me guess. The children of Etro, right? Ah, you have your own sources, I see. In recent weeks, the heretics have become more visible on the streets of our holy city. The poor, benighted fools don't believe in God's salvation. Clearly, their despair has led them to carry out these wanton acts. If only they would open their eyes, embrace God, and they could bathe in the pure light of His almighty grace. Can't they see that their souls would be liberated in the new world? The irony of it all is that their fanatical rejection of the Savior has only made my own faith that much stronger. Although, perhaps that is the work of the Savior herself. If you think your faith will save you, then go ahead. Believe all you want. Surprised you've heard of me. What do you want? All right, take off. I've prepared a room where you can require a room. What kind of right 
lines could he have been referring to? And what are the four numbers? Guess they're a password of some kind. If you give them the right numbers, you get to join the party. Simple but effective security. Handy if you want to hide a murder. A password, huh? We'll need to figure it out somehow. Let's head back to town and look for clues. The heretical cult, the so-called children of Etrel, are behind the murders. They become increasingly visible in the city. Judging by the tone of their message, they view the savior as their enemy. What I don't understand is why they would target you. You're here to save souls and guide them to a new world. Why wouldn't they want that? It's not that clear cut. To some, God's savior looks as much a murderer as these maniacs do. I'm not surprised they're afraid. Don't worry. Even if the world hates you, I'll always be by your side, Light. What do you want to do? Will you go? I'll release your soul. The children of Etro are gathering now. They'll be out of my reach until they're done with their business. It seems like a waste to just wait here until then. Why not get out of the city for a while? I might as well. There's not much time left. I won't waste it. Yes, your time is the most precious thing you have now. How you use these few days may decide the very fate of the world. It looks like the monorail is up and running. If you hop aboard, you can quickly get anywhere in this world. And there's another station on the south side of Luxarian. I can't believe it. I just dropped it. <laughs> now, now I'll never, ever see it again. <laughs> Did you lose something? What was it? I lost my carbuncle doll. It was the prettiest green color. It was an antique. It was my favorite doll in the entire world! Chin up. It has to be somewhere. If you search hard enough, you'll be able to find it. I know where it is. The chaos took it away from me. Anything the chaos touches just disappears and you never see it again. Just because you can't see something, it doesn't mean it's gone. In fact, there might be a way to get it back. Really? I don't believe you. All right, then I'll find it for you and prove it. You're looking for a green carbuncle doll, is that right? In this dying world, all the children have lived for centuries without growing old. Being alive for so long has stripped them of many things, including their naivete and hope. It's time to close up shop. It looks like one of those old-fashioned pens. It also looks like someone deliberately buried it here. Sorry, I'm out of wares. Today I'm here as a customer, just like you. Look what I found. Here you go. Make sure you don't lose it again, okay? <gasps> My doll! You really found it! Oh, 
Oh, thank you, thank you! My mom gave this to me. She's gone now. She got swallowed up by the chaos. It was 200 years ago, maybe longer. If this doll was safe and sound inside the chaos, that means my mom is okay too, right? It means she's watching over me from far away, right? People pray for the dead. They pray that even though their bodies are gone, their souls still exist. They pray they'll see their loved ones again. That little girl prays she'll reunite with her mother. The same way I pray that Sarah and I will be together again, someday. Require a room? Yeah. 